even though hagfish are so primitive that they cannot be considered vertebrates, but rather craniate fish. Nevertheless, their hearts share a number of features with those of vertebrates. They possess three chambers, a sinus venosus, an atrium, and a ventricle, and these are chambers found in all vertebrate hearts, at least in embryos. In addition, there are other traits, such as the presence of cardiac muscle in the heart, the presence of an epicardium and endocardium, the presence of heart valves, the sinoatrial, atrioventricular, and semilunar heart valves, the unidirectional flow of blood through heart chambers. In chordates, blood can flow in both directions. The sinus venosus is the site where the contraction of the heart is initiated. Uh, the heart varies its output uh, in response to certain signals, such as the catecholamines, epinephrine and norepinephrine, uh, ANP, and some neuropeptides. All of these features of the vertebrate heart were present in the most simple fish, the craniate fish, such as the hagfish, which are alive today.